Hello everyone. Now we will move on to further topics of ALV and our next is PF status. The full form of PF status is personal functions. Now what we will do, we will create our own functions in the ALV output. I will go for the example and we will achieve same to same functionality. Suppose I am running the ALV program. Suppose I will run this ALV program. I will give the input to the program. I will execute. We all know we have four parts of GUI status. This one is your menu bar. This is your function keys. This is title bar and this is application toolbar. Now in this ALV output, we will create a button in the application toolbar. Means we will create our own functions in the application toolbar and we will achieve some functionality onto that. Now, to understand the requirement, I will just show the example and we will achieve same to same functionality. Suppose I will just go for a sample program. If I will run this sample program, if I am running this program, I am giving some order number to this program. Whenever I am executing, this data is coming from order header table and you can see there is a button display in the application toolbar. Same to same, we will also create a button in the application toolbar. Suppose if I am putting or if I am selecting a row, if I am clicking on to display button, you can see the item details of only order number one is displaying. Suppose I am going to back button. Suppose I am selecting order number four. If I am clicking on to display button, the details of only order number four is displaying. We will go for same to same sort of requirement. We know we have two tables for sales order, sales order header, sales order item. Firstly, we will display that data from sales order header table means BPAK table. Whenever user will select a record and click on to display button, we will display that data from the item table that is our VPA. Suppose user is selecting order, so user is selecting sales order number one. So whenever user will click on to display button, we will only display the details of sales order one from VPAP table. We'll go for same to same sort of requirement. So I will create a program. In that program, firstly, we will display data from BPAK table. We will create a button. And whenever user will click on to that button, we will display that data from BPAP table. So I will just create a new program. I will give some name to the program. Suppose, ZPRG. Suppose I will say sales order and I will give some serial number. I will click on to create button. I will give some description to display the sales order details. I'll choose the type as executable program. I will save it as a local object. 
will go for same to same input to the program. The input to the program is sales order number. I'll just copy this code to give a input because this is a repetitive logic. So I'll just take a select option for sales document number. I will declare LB underscore VB ELN. I'll check the syntax. I will activate the program. We will provide the selection text. Go to text element selection text. Sales order number. I will activate the program. If I'm running the program, so input is ready for the program. Now, firstly, we will only display the header data in the form of ALB. Means we will fetch data from BB AK table only. We will create a field catalog of BB AK only and we will display the data. So firstly, we will fetch data only from VBAK table. So I will just copy the structure of VBAK. As it's already covered, so I'm just copy pasting from the previous program. I will take internal table and work areas of VBAK. Now I will fetch data from VBAK table. I am fetching data from VBAK table. So my data is fetched from the VBAK table. Now we will create a field catalog field catalog only of five columns because we are only fetching five columns from VBAK table. So I'll copy the five columns of field catalog, only first five columns because we are only displaying VBAK data first. Now we do not have LT final internal table. Now we have only one single internal table that is VBAK. So I'll just replace the internal table. I will declare the field catalog internal table and work areas. I'll check the syntax and activate. So my data is in LTVB AK internal table. My field catalog is in LT field cat to bind field catalog and the data, we will use reuse ALB grid display function module. So I'll call through pattern button, reuse ALB grid display. I will uncomment exporting. I will pass the name of the field catalog internal table that is LT underscore field cat. I will pass that data. My data is in which internal table LT underscore VBAK. I'll check the syntax and I will activate the program. I will run the program. I will give the input. 
this is the output and you can see this output is only only from the VBAK table which has five columns. Now what is our requirement because actual topic will starts from here. We will create a button in the application toolbar. Now how to create a button in the application toolbar? I'll go to back. I'll go to back. Now you can see in this function module grid display, we have a parameter I underscore call back PF status set. I will uncomment this parameter. Now, what we will do, we will give some name in front of this parameter. You can give any name, it is totally your wish. Suppose I am giving PF underscore status. You can give any name. Now, whatever the name you are giving, we have to create a subroutine with the same to same name. Now, how we can reach up to that level that how we can create a subroutine with the same to same name. I will show you the full navigation, but SAP did and same to same way we will do. Suppose, suppose firstly we will check how SAP did, then we will do the same to same thing. So to check SAP thing, what you can do, you can simply copy this parameter. You can double click on to function module reuse ALV grid display. Go to find. We are checking how SAP did, same way we will do. We'll search in master program. Just scroll down. Go to reuse ALV list display function module, double click. Now go inside this function module. Again, find that same to same. Just scroll down and you can see whenever we will double click onto this, SAP also did same to same thing. In front of this parameter, SAP gave this name, but we gave our own name. So if I'm searching this SAP name, if I'm finding this SAP provided a subroutine with that name. SAP created a subroutine with that name. So what we will do, I'll just simply copy this. I will go to my program and I will paste into my program. Because we have to create a subroutine with that name. Every form has a end form, means every subroutine ended with the end form. Now we cannot go by this name because this is SAP name. SAP used this name, but rather than this, what the name we gave? We gave the name PF underscore status. So I'll simply replace this with this. Now I will check the syntax. Rest part of PF status, we will continue in the next video. Thank you.